Weather makers have just targeted Atlantic City, New Jersey with a completely engineered winter weather event. How can this be stated with certainty? Because satellite radar imagery that has been recorded proves it. In this animation from Wednesday, December 5th, 2018, a large cell of far above freezing temperature rain migrating west over the far above freezing temperature Atlantic Ocean suddenly flashes out to snow in a vast and irregular pattern, then back to rain in places and back to snow again. Jet aircraft dispersions of toxic ice nucleating chemicals over the migrating moisture create this phenomenon. Examine this animation carefully. It is absolute proof of climate engineering operations in action. Again, above freezing temperature rain cannot suddenly flash or change over to frozen precipitation without the help of the climate engineers and patented processes of chemical ice nucleation. Radio frequency microwave transmissions are another key component of the climate engineering assault. The animation shown is from a transmission installation near Philadelphia. Fluctuating transmission levels helped to facilitate the steering of the migrating moisture into a location that most facilitated the engineered winter weather event. The United States of America, with its massive military and commercial flight operations, is the most capable by far of carrying out large-scale climate engineering operations. But is the U.S. the only country engineering snowstorms over its own populations? No. China has openly disclosed its engineering of snowstorms in the past, as this popular science report clearly reveals. All major powers are fully cooperating on the climate engineering issue for their own reasons and agendas. A nearly 800-page U.S. Senate document posted at geoengineeringwatch.org provides much more detail on this fact. Chemical ice nucleation is one of the biggest weapons in the climate engineering arsenal. It is imperative for this fact to be understood and acknowledged by anyone that is truly trying to expose and halt the climate engineering operations. What is chemical ice nucleation and how is it used for climate engineering? Energy absorbing elements create an endothermic or energy absorbing reaction. As this lab demonstration clearly shows, such materials have an absolutely profound effect on precipitation behavior and can convert what should have been liquid precipitation into frozen precipitation. Endothermic materials are specifically named in climate engineering patents. The weather modification patent shown is expressly for a chemical ice nucleation process. This patent was filed over a half century ago. For how many decades have we been exposed to completely engineered weather that official sources are still trying to convince the population is only natural? Yet another completely engineered so-called winter weather event is already being carried out. Warm precipitation straight from the record warm Gulf of Mexico will be heavily saturated with ice nucleating elements dispersed from geoengineering jet aircraft. As the inflowing moisture is cooled down from this process, it often first reaches the ground as freezing rain, and eventually, chemically nucleated snow will fall in some regions. Abundant moisture is necessary for the chemically ice nucleated events. Cold surface layers of air eventually settle out in many regions at lower temperatures at the ground level. This is one of the primary objectives of the climate engineers, confusing and dividing populations in regard to the true state of the climate. The forecast map shown is for Friday, December 7, 2018. The so-called winter weather that countless mainstream media sources are trumpeting is again the result of climate engineering patented processes of chemical ice nucleation. And in the case of the forecast map shown, a result of precipitation from the record warm Gulf of Mexico. The engineered winter event will continue through Saturday and Sunday and finally Monday. At least that's the scheduled weather for the moment. Take notice of the fact that so many weather maps now no longer show temperatures. Why not? Because many in the population were starting to connect the dots. Many were starting to take notice of the chemically nucleated snow falling at above or even far above freezing temperatures. So-called winter weather events are being constantly engineered. If we were to have any chance of successfully exposing and halting the ongoing climate engineering insanity, this major component of the climate engineering operations must be studied, understood, and addressed. In closing, these two statements must be remembered as well. There can be no legitimate discussion about the climate without first and foremost discussing the climate engineering issue. Next and the point of this video message. 
there can be no legitimate discussion about climate engineering without first and foremost including the issue of patented chemical ice nucleation processes and the engineered winter events they create. Exposing and halting the climate engineering assault is the greatest imperative of our time. Awakening sleeping populations is the first and most important leap in the right direction we can make. Help us to sound the alarm. Make your voice heard. Share credible data from a credible source. This is Dane Wigginton with GeoengineeringWatch.org.